Burnt or not, it's time to eat. But first, Shane Jones has a phone call to make. Oh, shit, I'll ring Cunliffe then. David Cunliffe has been oh, trying to talk to Jones all day about not letting the media in on the family lives of the three Labour leadership contenders. Kia ora, Dave. You've been check yeah, you've been you've been you've been chasing me around Tai Tokido. I'm up north, pal. We asked both David Cunliffe and Grant Robertson to film with us for this programme, but they refused. Now it sounds like David Cunliffe is suggesting Shane should do the same. Okay, well it's a bit late, Dave. I've had uh, I've had the TV group already uh, do it up north and and uh, go to the whare and all that sort of jazz. You might think Shane Jones has mm. more to hide than his competitors, but he seems pretty comfortable in his own skin. And so the Cunliffe plea falls on deaf ears. Right, right, right. No, I understand what you're saying, mate, but uh, well, it's, it's come and gone. OK, catch you later, bro. I just want to let you know that... Hmm. They're not a happy chappy. Him and Grant are. Um, oh, they, well, they're just not. Yeah, they're worried about. Uh, what the hell is a soft piece? Doing things uh, in a soft fashion is 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 never really been a failing of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting there, what David Cundiff was trying to do was stitch up a deal with Shane Jones so you couldn't get into their private lives. That's right, and look, that's their right, but it's interesting that David Cundiff and Grant Robertson weren't happy for the cameras to come in and see how they lived their own lives. I think they figured that Shane Jones, with the, the broken marriage and the porn mm. scandal mm. in the past, that he would have a bit more to hide, but he went in and said, look, warts and all, this is how I live my life, and I think it probably worked for him.